In this lecture, I'll be talking about labels. You've already used labels, but in this lecture, I want to show you some more possibilities. Labels are key value pairs that can be attached to objects. Labels are like tags in AWS or other cloud providers used to tag resources. If you've been using cloud, then tags will be very familiar to you. Labels are kind of the same thing. You can label your objects, for instance, your pod, following an organizational structure. You can say, I want to tag my pods using key environment and value, either dev, staging, QA, or prod. And then you know whether your pod is part of your development environment or any other environment. You can also add another tag. You maybe have multiple departments. So you could say, I'm going to tag all my pods and I'm going to say this is going to be from engineering. These pods are running software for finance or these pods are running software for marketing. In our previous examples, I have already been using labels to tag pods. This is how it looks. I always added labels, for instance, the app Hello World. Labels are not unique and multiple labels can be added to one object. Once labels are attached to an object, you can use filters to narrow down the results. This is called the label selectors. Using label selectors, you can use matching expressions to match the labels. For instance, a particular pod can only run on a node labeled with environment equals development. More complex matching is also possible. You can say environment needs to be either development or QA. In earlier lectures, I have been using node labels for the services. The services had a label selector to select the correct pod that the service was going to be for. You can also use labels to tag nodes. Once nodes are tagged, you can use the label selector to let pods only run on specific nodes. There are two steps required to run a pod on a specific set of nodes. First, you tag the node itself. Then you add the node selector to your pod configuration. It can be to a single pod or a pod template within, for instance, a deployment. The first step is to add a label or multiple labels to your nodes. And you can do that using kubectl label nodes. You just specify the node name and then the label that you want to give it using key equals value. Secondly, you add a pod that uses those labels. Here we have a pod definition and we just added the node selector. This node selector says hardware needs to be high spec. This pod will only run on nodes that have the label high spec. I will show you how this works using a deployment with a node selector in the next demo.